Hi, everybody. Um, I wanted to film a What's in My Purse video because I've never done one before, and I figured now was as good a time as any. Um, and I actually have some time to film some videos, so you'll have seen a haul with me wearing the same thing and with the background looking the same, so I'll tell you again, ignore it again because my duvet is being cleaned and so is the duvet cover and so are the sheets, so everything is kind of haphazardly thrown in the bed over there. Same goes for over there, and if you could see here, same goes for here, but because I'm cleaning. Um, anyways, so what's in my bag? My bag right now, and my bag for a while, I don't switch up my bag as often as I should, which is why this bag is getting way more beat up than it should be at this point, but I have this Fendi, which I actually completely just forgot the name. I don't remember what it's called, but it's getting bent out of shape. It's a gorgeous, like... I forgot the name of this leather. <laughs> I don't remember what it's called. But it's a really pretty gray color, which I love because it matches with everything under the sun. And it has gold hardware and then woven chain, um, the gray leather and gold um, handles, which it fits really nicely under the arm. I love this bag because it goes literally with everything. It's super comfortable. If you're thinking about getting one, I highly recommend it. And I really, really, really love this color especially oops, because um, it fits all my stuff. So, oh, please hold. Sorry about that. I heard my other phone ring over there. Anyways, so if you look inside the bag, which I don't know if you're going to be able to see, there's like back two back pockets here. There's a back compartment. There's this middle zipper, zipper section, and then there's a front compartment. So... I guess we'll go front to back. Um, so in the front section, I have these Wisp uh, Colgate Wisp mini brush with freshening bead and peppermint, just because you never know when you'll need one. Um, I have tissues, because I always need one. I have this Xumi Detox Tea, which I haven't drank yet, but I have it in there just in case I decide to drink it one day. Um, I just got over a cold, so I have a thousand milligrams of vitamin C super orange emergency. I have these little Italian mints that, I don't know what they're called, Senza, no, that means something else, Pastiglie Leoni. They're really cute, and they look like this. They're really cute little mints. I found these at a little um, Italian market that was next to an Italian uh, restaurant that I went to eat at. Um, so I got that, a random receipt. I have one of my EOS lip balms, of course, at all times. I have um, my sunglasses, which I really should not keep loose in there, but I don't know where my case is at the moment. Oh, sorry, these sunglasses are um, Oliver Peoples, and you probably saw them last year. They're the ones that were stolen in my purse that I repurchased. Did I tell you that I repurchased them? Well, I repurchased them because I loved them so much and they got stolen. So I got them again and here they are. Um, I have my EOS hand lotion in Berry Blossom. I love this hand lotion. Um, I have the remnants of this hand lotion from uh, Bath & Body Works, which was the Dark Kiss scent, which smells good and it, ends, it um, finishes to like a powdery finish on your hands. Um, but I don't feel like it's as moisturizing as it could be. Another random receipt. This is the, um, damn, this got banged up. This is the Fendi, like, authenticity thing that comes in the purse. Um, I have a bottle with a leave, which is my lifesaver most times. I'm Pepto-Bismol because you never know when something's not going to sit right with your stomach. Um, I just, I don't know why I have that. Um, I have a little clip for my hair, a clear one. I have these keys, which are actually not my final keys. These are the keys, and I have a bunch of keychains so I can find them. These are my keys to my aunt's store, my grandmother's house, and I actually have no idea what this key is for. Oh, this is the key, I think, for the other store? I don't know what this key is for. It might be for the other store, it might not. I don't know. But so I have this on a big keychain so I can find it in my purse. And I don't, whoops, lose track of it. Um, then I think that's it for this pocket. What movie is this? A ticket stub from, oh, from the Dark Shadows that I just saw two weekends ago with the boyfriend. 
it's all right, people. I mean, I love Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp is my faves, but I didn't love the movie. I thought I was gonna like it a lot more. Um, anyways, also in the front, I have my makeup bag by Trish McAvoy. Um, this was a free gift with purchase that I think I might have shown you. Um, I just used this one because it's washable and it's like the easiest to fit all my stuff. I'll tell you real quick what's in here. It's not that exciting. I have my Basha blotting, blotting papers. I have my mini product candy sample that I got from I don't know where. I have my Touche Clot in number... Um, I don't know what number this is. It doesn't say what number this is, but I'm pretty sure I'm number one. I have my Chanel eyeliner in the color that's rubbed off. So I think it's 66. It's like a brown bronzy color. I have a miniature Bad Gal Lash Mascara. I have my MAC NW20 Studio Finish Concealer, which is actually super old and I should probably switch out with something else. I have my Makeup Forever Professional Duo Matte Powder in color 201 for touch-ups. I have my NARS Blush in Deep Throat, which I love even more than Orgasm, dare I say it. And then I have this little brush to apply everything. It's um, just a blush brush from Le Métier de Beauté, which I don't recommend it. I don't not recommend it. It's just the one, I was looking for one one day. And this was the only brand that had one the size that I wanted. So that's pretty much all that's in here. You'll see when I get to the back part that I have a gajillion lip glosses um, and lip products. So they're not in there because I have a million and they're in another compartment. But anyway, so that's... Oh, and I have this. A um, little drinking chip from Happy Hour. If you buy... If you, when, every time you buy a drink, you get one of these guys. We have a stack of them on my on my bar table in the in the in oh in the kitchen. But that one just happens to be new. Then I'm into the middle zipper section. In here, I carry a bunch of goodies. What's this? This was the receipt from buying those movie tickets. These are my actual keys to my apartment with the keychain that says live well that was given to us by the property managers. Um I have my little fob to get in and out of my office. At, at the office. This is a little random Sanrio keychain that I got in one of those blind boxes. This is my key to the apartment. I have a little luchador. My boyfriend has a matching luchador, but his is blue and red. Mine is green. And then the key to the mailbox. Not very exciting. Um, I have my little um, Chanel card case, which in here I keep my driver's license, which I won't show you, my um, insurance, credit card, and some cash. And then I have like random business cards that people have given me in the back. Love that. Then I have my actual wallet, which is also Fendi. It's red. It's like in a pony print, but it's like patent leather. I have a gajillion receipts in here that I won't take you through. Store cards, um, credit cards, business cards, um, and a little bit of cash. Oh, I do have cash. Nice. All right, so that's that wallet. Then in here I have a Macy's receipt, the baby lips in the grape, which is my favorite. I got the pink one, I didn't like it. Do you have it? I have a random papermate pen, and then I have my most favoritest pen in the world by Swarovski. I like to take this out at meetings with clients. Well, Pam, it's like a mother of pearl almost and then the Swarovskis obviously which are gorgeous and it writes really really smoothly I'm picky about my pens I like them to write really smoothly and that one does um okay I am I gonna show you this I went to this um fashion thingy and um there's this new place that opened over here called the blow bar which you guys may or may not have it, but it's like they do blowouts and you pay I don't know how much and they'll do you whatever blowout you want and up to a braid do or whatever. And they had these random pins that I could... <laughs> It was funny. If you're young, just go like this for a second. It's really funny. That's all. That's all. Um, so then that's, oh, the middle section. Then I have my work phone, which I have this J. Crew case. This is the work one. It's the boring one. Blah, blah, blah. And then usually I have my personal phone in there too. Da da da. 
Hello Kitty case. That's it. Um, now in the back area, um, in the open section I have my checkbook, I have some hand sanitizer, um, I have another tea, a hair clippy thing. I'm not going to show you my empty purse, people, because I'm putting stuff back in there when I'm done. I have Neosporin, lip therapy, um, and then I have this little, oh, there's more here. Oh, <laughs> I was just in my parents' house, and I have, I've been talking to my mom for weeks about how I can't find this thing, and she found it, so that's why this is in here, but I have this egg timer thing for the perfect hard-boiled or soft-boiled or medium-boiled egg um, that I got at Bed Bath & Beyond, like, a hundred years ago, and I can't find it anywhere anymore, so I'm really glad that she found it. It's basically, um, you drop it in the water when it, before it starts boiling, and the little lights, I mean the little lights, the little lines will get colored, whether it's soft, medium, or hard boiled, depending on how you want it. So that's really helpful for me, who's not that good at boiling eggs. Um, and then I just have this Kevin Aquan um, concealer, which I actually just also picked up from my parents' house. I'm the color SX05. Sensual Skin Enhancer. Whoops, it's cool. And then I just have this Marc Jacobs little notebook. I like to have a notebook with me. This was a freebie with um, Neiman Marcus purchase a um, long time ago. But I keep this in here. And that's it for this part. Let me put some of these back in here because I'm going to go cuckoo if I have to put all this back in later. I don't like having this stuff everywhere. Ah. Uh... I can't lose them. Okay. Um, so then now we're in the back pockets, which I have in here a bunch of business cards for other people and myself, which I won't show you. Um, that's in this little side thingy. There's like a side pocket. There's like a side little tiny pocket for the cell phone technically that I keep the business cards in. And then there's the bigger pocket. And in the bigger pocket, I have all my gajillions of lip products, which I will start to show you now. So I have this, my favorite, the Dior Lip Glow, which is the Color Reviver Balm, which is my favorite thing on earth. I wear it almost every day. It gives like a really, um, a really rosy um, glow to your, to your lips. Um, I have my Chanel Imaginaire, which I always have in my purse because it's like my favorite lip gloss of all time. Um, I have a couple of NYX ones that I just got, so I've used them on two different days and I stuck them in, so they're still in here. Um, NYX and T Rose. And NYX in Nude Peach, which I got, these, I got those at Ulta the other day. They're both really nice. They smell really good. Um, I have this Buxom Gloss in White Russian, which I guess is really hard to find, but I went to Sephora the other day and they had it, um, which I actually, I feel like maybe, mm, it smells so good. It smells like caramel, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to wear it anymore because I might have had an allergic reaction to it. We'll see. I went to the dermatologist today and he said that I can't use anything on my lips for like two weeks um, to see what happened. But anyways, I have a random Daisy Rollerball perfume. I don't really wear this very often. It's just in case of emergencies. Um, I have my Chanel, what is this called? The Rouge Allure Gloss and in Insolence, which is my faves, faves, raves, because it's a really pretty, like bright pink. I wear it whenever I need something to liven me up and I don't feel like wearing the um, Dior thing. I have this um, Yves Saint Laurent Volupt Sheer Candy in number four, which is the pinky one. Do you think I like pink? Do you think I like pink on the lips? I do. Um, then I have this guy, the Child Perfume, which I've told you about before, but I'm not going to mention again because I don't want everyone to start wearing it. Mm, 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 mm. Smells so good. And then I have this one, which I barely ever wear, but I happen to wear it one day with a lot of stuff over it, which is the Chanel, uh, Chanel, it's Yves Saint Laurent Rouge Volupte in number one. I had number two and it made me look like a dead ghost. So this one is a little more pinky than that one. So it's not as bad. I had to put gloss on first and then put this one on top and a lip liner or else it does not look good on me, but I don't know why I bought that actually. If I had to do it over again, I would not purchase that thing. I know people are obsessed with it, but, um, these are just some random old Tums that I actually have to throw away. It's embarrassing that they're in there. Here's one of the doors from my little Sanrio keychain that I thought I had lost, but I can't use it really anyways. This is a sample of perfume. Which one is it? That I got from Nordstrom. 
I like to do that. This might be Tom Ford. I think I think it's Tom Ford Violet Blonde because I really like I really like it and I really want to buy it, but I have too many perfumes right now. So whenever that happens, I go to Nordstrom. They have these awesome little things that you fill up. I squirt it up to the top, so then I at least can wear it a little bit until I buy it. I have this little Diamante um, hair pin thing. It's more shiny in real life, but it looks really drab there. I have this Lancome gloss that I showed you last time in that haul in color three seven color fever gloss in three seven three intense fuchsia. Very pretty color. Um, and that's it finally. That's it finally. Oh, this is the top to that perfume. And that's it. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine glosses and two perfumes. I guess it's not that bad. But I'm not putting all these back in here. I'm going to keep some away. Anyways, so that is what's in my purse. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'll show you the purse again because I love, love, love it. I do need to start switching it out because this is a purse. I have worn this like every single day for the last like two years. This is the purse that I bought after the, um, after my Louis Vuitton got stolen that, that time that you know that it all got, that you all know that it got stolen. Um, I haven't been able to bring myself to purchase another Louis Vuitton since because it just freaks me out. I don't know if it's because the logo makes it obvious that people just want to grab it because everyone knows it's Louis Vuitton. Um, this one, I know it has the Fs, but if I spin it around and wear it the other day, the other way, it's still pretty, but nobody can really tell what it is. So if I'm out, sometimes I do that. Um, anyways, but I'm, I shouldn't be wearing this purse every day because the leather is very soft and very supple. And it is giving in a few places because you can't really tell, but it's like ripping a little bit or coming apart. Um, which doesn't say, it doesn't say anything negative to the quality of the purse. It's just that it's not meant to be used and abused the way that I use it. I think this purse is meant to be switched out on occasion with another purse and it, it just hasn't been. I've gotten stuck in the rain with it. I've, I mean, it's, it's seen a lot of tough times. Um, but I do love, love, love this purse. Obsessed with this purse. Um, if you have, if you're carrying a lot in it, it can get a little bit hard on the shoulder because of the chains it kind of digs in um but other than that I'm obsessed with this purse and it, it'll be sad the day that I don't wear it every day but I need to give it a rest um anyway so that is it I hope this is like it looks like a dog chewed this but it didn't I don't know what's that's disgusting anyways uh I don't have anything else to say so I hope you enjoyed and Post a video response with what's in your purse because I'm nosy and I like to see. I like to know what's in your purse. Maybe I'll want to carry that in my purse too. Um, anyways, but that's all. I hope you all are well and I will, ooh, I will talk to you again soon. Bye. Didn't I What's up?